What a beautiful morning this is. Another large day in the makings here in the big land. And today I'm out uh, trying to get a few permican. Uh, the season is starting to wind down a little bit, so now is the time, uh, the time of year now to get a few to put away for the summer months. Uh, you know, uh, permican is one thing. When I'm away fishing, uh, the wife, uh, you know, cooks permican often. You know what I'm getting from her and the kids, and so I got to make sure I got a few in the freezer for her. And uh, and you know, I uh, it takes a few on the boat for a scattered meal of permican soup <coughs> as well. So uh, looks like we're gonna have a beautiful day. Supposed to be up to plus two. So uh, hopefully, yeah, uh, we'll see some permican before too long. I do see a little bit of first sign over there. So so maybe this hunt will be getting started pretty soon. This tree here, this tree. They're running really fast. Oh yeah, it's a four five or six down there. Oh they're gone the wing. Oh, you just pitched down right here. How good. I'll pick this one first. Yeah, see the alders? You step on the alders again, it will veer you up. Anyway. This right here is the start of the hunt. This is the first one. A lot of birds over there, they looks like they're kind of quite, so I'll take my time to pick this one. It's cold this morning, so it's down around minus 20 or so, but then it's going to mile up to uh, around plus 2, so it's going to be a real nice day. Yeah, I'm trying to get a few parmigan now for the freezer for the summer months, so. Hopefully, uh, it's a fairly successful hunt. Like that, and take care of the rest of it when I get home. Now, the parrots is they're right out in the open, so I don't know how close I'm actually going to get to them. So, uh, hopefully, uh, we get one or two of it anyway. Two to one shot. Oh shit. I'll fly down there. Oh, I gotta get my snowshoes. Uh-huh. Probably getting from the other side.
gosh, I tell you, it's really cold to the tips of the fingers now this morning. Uh, supposed to warm up though, so. Now I have one perm can come down over this hill here, this way, so I got snowshoes on and uh, see can I find them. I'm pretty sure he came over the bank there by that uh, poplar tree, the eps there. Okay, yeah, I think I can see. I think I can see his track. Oh, I think I see the bird reach. There he is. Oh, he's dead. That's good. He come down over the bank. And this is where he died, right here. Come down over there. Uh huh. That's good. Well, that was two one shot. Time I have the. Time I might have the. Time is crippled. Time I have the fire again. Sir, another one for the pot, and uh, what I'm using, I'm using up all different old ammo that I had, and uh, I just had one snap on me there. I wonder when you just kill them, just look how easy the feathers comes off. Look at that. Oh yeah, I just picked that last one there, and I just popped over this like little bank, and now I can see two perches down there. That's probably the ones that just flowed from uh, there, so uh, they're not flying real far. So that's a real good sign because. It's going to warm up later on in the day as well, so uh, so they're a bit quiet, so, so that's, that's a bonus for sure. This is the two. Blocking it in birch there a little bit. Oh, really close though. I'm trying to line a couple up there, but he fly down there. So. Another one. I could have had one more there, but uh, I tried to line a line a couple up there, and I just seen where they went to, so just want to pick this one first. I'm not in no rush, you know. Just shoot and pick, shoot and pick, clean them off nice. Not a whole lot of birds around though. I seen a lot of sign here earlier in the year. I was uh, expecting to see a few more today, but but sometimes you know they get us up in big companies this time of year. So maybe you don't know we might run across something like that later on. It's hard to say. Yeah, there was a bunch of permican deer and he fly it up and he went on over across that canyon. So they're safe enough over on that side. <laughs> yeah, there's no getting over there. Unless I got them on the river and went up and coming across or something like that, but I don't come out of that today. Yeah, so anyway, continue hunting around here and got to backtrack. Let me go on up that way. Just gonna stop, get a drink of juice, and have a little look around. Uh, I came in from that way, dear. So last year, year before last, and the birches here was full of ptarmigan. I don't know how many was there. It must be close on 100. You see, about 40 or 50 in the trees. And when they fly, it was more flying off the ground too. And I ended up getting my limit pretty quick that day. <laughs> yeah. I see more sign down there. I seen a lot of sign here earlier in the year, but uh, yeah, they moved out of it or something, or they gathered up somewhere. Yeah, 
when he flies over on the other side, well, there's no getting over there. So I'm just gonna put him on down the line here now. If I had to come in this way hunting again, I, I hunt the other side of the river. Sometimes they'd be over that way. But now uh, I've seen some good sign up this way there earlier in the year, so uh, I'm going to go back here and have a look. And uh, it's kind of in that area where I've seen a bit of porcupine sign. You know, you don't know, we might come across uh, where he's after moving to or something. So, uh, so anyway, the hunt continues and we're headed that way. Just sizing it up here now. Uh, see if I can get down over here and get up on the other side there. Uh, now, I was over there before, but I had to go way on up around there, and over that way is where I see some porcupine sign. I think if I got down over there, I could cross the river there and cut up on the side of the hill on an angle that way. Uh, if I can't do it, it's going to be a hard job to get back up over this way, so so i got to be uh, pretty certain. got to be pretty certain before I even attempt it. Well, guys, I'm kind of working my way back there now. Uh, Seems like the parmigan was kind of moved out of this area, probably on the other side of the river or up in the hills somewhere else. Uh, so I'm going to call it quits here for this area for the day. And uh, next week, now me and my buddy is going to go in another area and uh, have a hunt. Uh, yeah, they're, they're best gears here. I don't see uh, the point of uh, wasting too much time. Uh, so I'll just kind of scan around. Might see a porcupine cotton and kind of work my way back like that. So, uh, so, so yeah, that's the plan right now.